In this video, I'm speaking about the reasons why I would not be hired by McKinsey nowadays if I would use the same preparation approach as I have used 13 years ago. So what I have done to get my job at McKinsey 13 years ago was the following. I purchased the same standard materials that I even used nowadays and that should have been replaced a couple of years ago, but different story. I then learned the frameworks by heart. I applied them to maybe 10 to 15 cases or so, and then I practiced roughly 10 cases with random peers I found online and essentially sitting next to me in my business school. And it was enough back then, but it would not be enough nowadays. And here's why. So I definitely was not smarter than most people around me. I also definitely was not uh, more preparing for these interviews as everyone around me. Back then, my biggest advantage was that I had this natural curiosity and it helped me to not stop learning things by heart, but being flexible on the way to adapt the learnings, the frameworks in a very natural way to what is actually expected from my interviewers. So it was pure luck and also based on a skill that I have acquired elsewhere back then that I was hired from McKinsey and company. So why I would not end up with an offer nowadays? Because nowadays the whole interview preparation space has been professionalized and we are also working very hard every single day to continue on that journey and to push the bar even higher. And what this means is I was hired not because I performed outstandingly strong compared to my competition, but my competition performed weaker than I did. And that's the difference. Because nowadays you can get the best possible guidance that will help you to eat competitors like I was one 13 years ago for breakfast. Because once you have been trained by experienced ex-MBB interviewers in a didactically sound program and have practiced with peers that have absorbed and learned to implement the same theoretical foundations as you have and you have received senior case calibration then on your way and progress control, then you will also perform on a completely different level than I did back then. So in a nutshell, I did not receive an offer because I was outstandingly smart and I did not receive an offer because I was working insanely hard. I received an offer because I was lucky. And you can reduce the factor of luck nowadays to completely different extent as it was possible a decade or even longer ago. And what we have done with the MBB offer machine is to exactly focus on this, reducing the level of luck you would need in order to end up with an offer to a degree where we have as a baseline, even on an average day, you should be able to end up with an offer from a top strategy consulting company. What have we done in order to do that? So how do we support our clients? And we support them in three steps. First, a strong theoretical foundation on analytical problem solving. Second, an extremely intense support system on the way where our clients can ask any question and will receive timely feedback. Third, a hand-picked assignment of peers to practice with. And all of these peers have gone through the same logic. And all of these peers have learned the same theoretical backbone to make sure that there can be a systematic peer practice in place. And four, by providing case performance feedback on an extremely senior level. So if you interview in the next one to six months with a top strategy consulting company, click the link below and see if we also can help you.